Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome for Friday, the last weekend before Christmas comes around on this 21st. How's everybody doing? Good to see everybody. Good morning. All right. Good, good, good. Good to see you, Grant. Everybody. Lawrence, look at that. You know, I'm quite impressed how many of you guys showed up this morning. I thought everybody's out going Christmas shopping. I guess everyone's plane got delayed. I don't know about where you are in the neck of the woods, but we, I just got an alert on my phone, an alarm. I guess they do that national broadcast thing that we have a ma major flooding here in New York. I don't know where you are, but let me tell you, it's really coming down. Could you imagine? It was, they said all they kept on saying, "Could you imagine it was cold out and we had a sn uh, and it was snow? It was a major blizzard, but one of the busiest day travel days of the year." They actually said, um, I don't know if you, uh, also that they said it we're up over four percent from last year. They said it's it's the it's the since they've been tracking it is the busiest travel. Uh, ever in history since since they've been tracking it and what does that tell you people are making money and secondly uh if you guys also saw at when the market just did a return at 8 30 when the gdp numbers came out they also made an announcement and said that you know with, with with uh with the with the gdp number it was not what they they expected which is actually less um people are making more money now so people are spending more money everything else listen Regarding what happened yesterday, um, I know everyone's freaking out regarding about uh, about the budget proposal, about shutting down the government, and about you know. And let me tell you, that is just a fraction of what's going on. You, you basically got like a triple whammy. You got Brexit. You got what's going on. Um, you know, you know, you have people complaining about what's happening with Syria. You have what else? You got. I mean, China. You got all oh, the tariffs. There's there is a lot of things going on, guys. So. Let me just tell you, gas is down, right? Isn't that great, Grant? And you know what? I want you guys to learn a valuable lesson regarding about gasoline. Oil, you know, think of oil tanking, right? Do you guys care that oil is tanking right now? You know what I mean? When you're really thinking about it, like, wow, gas is going to be cheaper. You know, unfortunately, someone's catastrophe is our opportunity. And let me tell you what's going to go on right now. I'm going to make a very bold statement. Um... I was on a show uh, earlier this week, and everybody projected the market was going to go down, and I was actually totally wrong. I says, you know what? I think it's going to go up unless it breaks one of these major support levels, but I'm very, very positive on the market with all these numbers, okay? Let me tell you, I've been through the 95 crash, the 2000, the 2008, and I'm telling you right now, there is going to be great buying opportunities. You got cash right now. You're just sitting around and, um, and seeing the market tank the way it is. You want this thing to go down as low as it can until all hell breaks out loose and there's no uh, – and bad news can't bring it down anymore. That's when you want to buy. So let me tell you, you're getting some great opportunities. So if there's any stocks out there that you wish that you owned and you go back to it, like, like for example, like I'm just going to bring up NVIDIA. NVDA, because I know a lot of people own that stock. NVIDIA, I mean, if you look back in 16, it was a $50 stock. It went all the way to almost 300 If you look where it is right now, it's at a major support levels. And I'm just using NVIDIA as an example, okay? I mean, talking the stock is down $200 um, in less than a month. If you look at any of some of the stocks, like, like, for example, I'm a fan of GE. You know, it hasn't really tanked. Is there anything out there, you know, and you know the reason why we're good at this because we're day traders. You know, and remember, to be a good swing trader, you got to be a good day trader. To be a good options trader, you got to be a very successful swing trader. So guess what? It all starts from day trading. So by seeing what's happening in the market and see what's going on, you guys got great opportunities. I know, listen, I know a lot of people are starting to like, eh, you know, I'm to wait after Christmas. I'm going to wait till January. You know what? There's never a good time when to buy or to trade, okay? So when I hear people telling me, you know, I'm thinking about learning. I want to wait after the new year, this and that. Wait a minute. The market just dropped almost 2,000 points in a week, and you're worrying about what happens goes up 2,000 points. And you wish you bought it today, but you wanted to wait till the end of the, uh, the new year? Listen, that is called ignorance. That's called people that don't know how to trade. And that's why I'm so impressed about everyone being here, you know, because this gets to show you that money never sleeps. And regardless, you know uh, – you know, an old mentor always taught me and said something, and I never really understood it, and it never really made sense. But he always told me, he goes, you know, I hate holidays. You know, being in the market, I hate holidays. I hate 
you know, the mark, you know, I hate 4th of July, I hate the Memorial Day, I hate Christmas, I hate the, I'm like, why are you so negative about the holidays? Because you know why? Because it's a day I lose of trading, and it always takes about two, three days for it to recuperate before we know what's going on, and there's not that many trading days in the course of the month. So, you know, when you have the, but when you have these holidays, you have the, these problems that, that happen. Um, unfortunately, some people still think that way, and we'll see what's happened in the market. Let me tell you, we got a lot of action going on. So, guys, I know we have a lot of new members that always join us every week, and I know everyone's like, you know, twiddling their thumbs and worrying about their credit card bills. Listen, don't worry about it. You, you trade, you know, the money will come later. All right, guys? So, um, anyway, now regarding about yesterday, what we traded, listen, um, going over just a couple of stocks, of, of you know, and we're going to go through the watch list because there are a couple of stocks that are making some big moves. I think today is going to be pretty much be more of, nickels and dimes types today um you know there could be some good opportunities some swing trades but remember we're going into christmas we're going to the most slowest time of the of, of the year and but unfortunately it doesn't look that way for what's happening in the market especially what just happened last night that uh congress passed a new budget that uh president trump wanted his border wall now he's forcing the senate to come back so you know listen you you, you want to still sit around your hands and still wait until the new year if that comes through, that comes to fruition, you know, just another thing that can make the market move. We saw what happened yesterday that it didn't pass, and, the, and he changed his mind, and the market dropped five, 600 points, okay? So um, remember, money never sleeps, guys. Now let's talk about some stocks uh, that, are, that did make some moves yesterday. The MRIN was a fun stock. Uh, that stock has been a fun stock for the last two days. You could see how the stock ran from from $3.00. And then it ran all the way to about seven dollars. Came back then yesterday, did the same exact thing five five fifty all the way to eight fifty. And I mean, listen, that is day trading at its best. Had some nice little Fausto flags, everything. I know you guys did pretty well. Twitter, another one took a huge hit yesterday. And let me let me. Uh, you can see it was a great great short thirty three down to twenty nine, and less than about two hours. You know, people don't realize this. You know, like. You bought 1,000 shares of that stock and you shorted it. If you only got 20% move, let me tell you, you do that every day. You're making $100,000 a year. But there were a lot of stocks out there. Twitter was one of them. MRN, Micron was another one. Uh, had a huge jump, but then with the news, I think tanked. You know, Micron looks pretty strong, even though the market crashing yesterday kind of held its weight there. Actually, I was quite impressed about that. Uh, the DV, the DBVR, I'm sorry. The, uh, oops, spelled it wrong. The DBVT, there we go. Uh, that stock was fun yesterday, too. And the funny part, it really wasn't hard to borrow. It was a great short. Uh, stock, we saw it in pre-market. It just kept trending down. And seeing the stock took a hell of a haircut from 14 all the way down to 6, you're probably thinking, I can't go any lower. You know how much lower the stock can go? Zero, all right? Don't ever think the stock can go lower. Yeah, that, that's that's for the people that hope that they wish they sold it two days ago or the day before when they owned that twenty five, and now they have a stock that's down to four. You know, but um, but it was a great short. You know, not the biggest winner. You know, went from six to four. You get, if you got if you got fifty cents out of it, I mean five hundred bucks. You're pretty happy. You know where it is today. Who the hell damn cares? You know, but that one was pretty good. All right, now, uh, just a couple of things, guys. You know that we're, we're finishing up phase two today. Uh, lesson three this morning, we're going to go over. Now, remember, this only applies if you're a gold student, not demo traders, not, not, not trial members. But, you know, but these are the things that you get when, once you see people making money, want to learn. This is what we do. So this is what we're covering today, uh, which is going to be very important. We're going to go over trades of the market at the open, what's, spe uh, what's specifically watched on time and sales. Uh, we'll be watching the recordings we made when the market opened up on Wednesday and how to be able to uh, compensate these moves in Micron, for example. This afternoon on Lesson 4, we're going to go over trades in the afternoon um, into the close, preparing for Phase 3, which you're going to be trading side-by-side -side with me. What you'll watch after the market closes is a better uh, prepared for the next trading day. So, listen, I know it's Friday. I know you guys got to do some shopping, whatever it is, but... Money never sleeps. So remember, the most important time to spend in trading is not the trade itself. It's learning how to trade and learning from those mistakes. Because remember, the big thing we teach at CyberTrade University is not about 
how to make money. It's about controlling losses. The winners take care of themselves. Now, regarding about what we're trading this morning, because I know that's what everyone's waiting for. All right. PLG plug. I don't know where it came from, but, you know, the stock just came up. Uh, Showed up on my radar, was up a little bit. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Stock took a big hit from $2 down to a dollar. It's at major support levels here from the 2017. You can see that in the long-term chart. We see how the stock plays out. Grant Brockway brought a funny comment. He goes, Fausto, I remember trading uh, Plug. That was one of the first stocks I traded from CyberTrade University. Yeah, I know Plug was a pretty fun stock. You know, cheap little stock. Um, this, and, and by the way, if you're a new trader to trading, you're a beginner trader, this thing's right up your alley. I mean, this is just like you could trade the stock without getting hurt. Now, the other big news is Nike. Uh, you know, they had some good earnings last night. Listen, I'm not really a fan of Nike. The stock is has got some nasty swings in it. So, and plus it's expensive. So just be very careful trading Nike. But I just want to bring that up. You know what kind of shocking is per Prego. Uh, here's a stock that was, you know, uh, the baby uh, Rolls Royces of, of, uh, Strollers, obviously people are coming out. Now I call them probably the Mercedes or, you know, of strollers because now there's, they, they used to be the Rolls Royces, you know, uh, and Bentleys. Now they're taking a little step back, but they're really kind of taking a little bit of a hit here. Uh, stock is going down. I would look more to shorting that stock. I mean, you can see the trend is your friend. Just keep an eye on here on the right, guys. Remember, the biggest, most important thing we teach at Cybertrain University is how to follow the high-frequency trades. How to follow the level three, okay? You don't know how to trade level three, then you better you, you, you don't deserve to day trade. You got to follow the orders. Once you think you're smarter than everyone else, that's when you lose. AMD, I want you to also keep an eye on that one. Uh, that one is basically, uh, if, if, if you can't afford NVIDIA, you could always trade the Micron and, and uh, AMD. Why didn't it come up? There it goes. Um, NVIDIA, you know, it's an expensive stock. Stock took a big hit. So, listen, if you could afford it, you know, listen, there's some good swing trade opportunities out there, but you could always kind of like trade AMD and Micron. They're pretty much in the same business. All right. Uh, what else did I have? That's about it. I think I got everything. Anything I'm missing that I did not call out? Anything else, guys? We pretty much got them all. All right, so anyway, if I don't see you going to this afternoon, everybody, or if you feel like taking off next week, you're more than happy to. I think Monday is going to be an extremely slow day. The only thing I'm really interested in finding out is that uh, President Trump just tweeted that he's forcing all the senators to come back and probably and use a nuclear option uh, to pass the budget to get his border wall. So I'm really curious if these senators are going to come back. Uh, but... You know, as I said, that they remember they work for us. So let's see what happens if he if he's able to pull that off, um, to get the uh, to get the vote in, and then uh, if that happens, I think you could probably see a nice little Christmas rally here. But uh, but anyway, with that said, if you if if you stock market's not going out of business, don't worry about it. You know, there's always another day. I know some of us always miss these great opportunities, like yesterday and other days, but. Uh, you know, this is what we train for. So as long as you sit back watching and learning and you're watching the classes and you're in there, that's the most important part in accessing your um, your emeralds, uh, your, your archives. Uh, Grant, by the way, Steve, thank you very much. And I'd like to wish you all, too, a very happy and healthy uh, Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays, okay, for a lot of you here. It's always great to be here and, and, and share that time with everyone. Um, you know, like I said, it always looks great. Hopefully... Uh, We'll get past this big this storm. Same to you, everyone. Happy holidays to all of you. And yes, Lita, I did buy her a present, and I think I did broke down. I just had to buy jewelry. I thought I, I saw something that really kind of sparked my interest. And um, I hope my wife's not listening. But you know what I did buy her, just to kind of share with you guys. Um, I hope she's not. Probably not. I hope she's not listening. But I bought her a nice charm from the fam, uh, from the kids. You know, they have the, the with with their stones in them. You know, their birthstones. She always wanted one, so I got her something like that. So I thought that was, uh, you know, pretty. You know, I think it was time to get it after twenty years being married with her. <laughs> uh, yep, my son did make it home. Uh, that he's fine and he loves it. But thanks, thanks everyone for asking, and I wish everybody also the same happy and healthy. Uh, you know, with all your kids and everyone. All right, guys, listen, good luck. Happy trading. Mark opens up in 15 minutes. 
let's go out there and make some money. And like I said, if you want to take off and do some Christmas shopping, you're more than happy to because I know I probably will. <laughs> All right. That's what we train for. A better life, more free time, and less stress. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.